hi everyone welcome back to my channel happy public holiday monday yes it's a public holiday may the first here in glasgow and yeah it's my birthday month let's count down yes i'm turning the big four zero and my second daughter is turning 18 as well so yes eh, Hey, I'm a me, 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 I just can't justify you know spending all of that money I've got better things to use that money for but I'm gonna be doing some Thanksgiving service at church and maybe just gather a few friends so we could go have some brunch somewhere so that's the plan anyway I'll keep you guys up to date if any of you are uh, Glasgow youtubers who wants to be a part of that you know brunch do let me know send me a wee DM and I'll see what I can do by then and I'm starting to receive gifts so I am collecting gifts like all of you that are watching me eh? Tony join, join, joining the level 4.0 it's not easy eh? it's not easy so I am collecting gifts now I'm starting to collect gifts so you know join my membership you know and you can also send me Tashere you know if you send me a DM so I'm open to gift to ah, I'm open to gift you know ask and you shall receive knock and it shall be opened unto you seek and you shall find so that's the word of the Bible anyways guys so today like i said i uploaded my costco for the month of may i uploaded it yesterday and i'll leave a card up here so go show that video love go show that video love, love. like let's guys make this month of may eh? make it a perfect one for me on this street of yt yes so go show me some love i'm gonna pop it in the card here and like i mentioned in that video i did say that i was gonna go do some african shopping today so hence why i'm stepping out on a normal day i should be resting in the house but the kids that all five of them are in the house right now and i'm like right this is because i can start to hear them start to start bickering i'm like this is the time for me to jack my <laughs> out of the house let their dad deal with them so the plan for me today is to go do a monthly um, african food shop i already got my list as well and then i'm going to branch at test school as well to do our normally weekly top up so which courses of bread and like juice for school snacks and stuff although i bought a, a, a box of this cheddar biscuit from costco yesterday trust me that biscuit will finish before i know it so i'm just going to go top up on bread eggs snacks just with things and a, a few um supplies for shawarma like our love for shawarma i made shawarma for the first time it was not perfect i'm going to pop that video i think that video will come before this one i'm going to drop that video soon and my kids loved it even though the spice in the in the chicken breast was too much i over you know so they loved it and then their dad asked that i make it the following day and i made it the following day again and it was all done so i perfected it the second time so now it's something i can do with my eyes shut so i'm just going to get supplies for that and also the african shop that i'm going to today i'm going to be going to two african shops today so one the one i would normally go to i'm going to go in there there's another second one on that same road my husband said to me that the person who owns that shop knows me really well but i don't know who the person is so i'm going to branch there first once I leave there, then I'll go to this normal one that I would normally go and then branch on to Tesco. And I might also touch at Lidl. I love the bakery section of Lidl. So I'm just going to go there and grab some pastries for like in the morning when I go to work and I need to have breakfast at work. So I'm going to branch there as well. So that's my plan for today. Anyways, guys, you'll probably see me at that other African shop, the new one. And then you'll see me once I get back home so we could talk over all the things I got. All right. See you later. Bye. Alright guys, I'm on that street. I think this is the African shop. There. So I'm gonna go in now. It's called Blessed African Supermarket. Right guys, so that's me. I've just finished from the second African shop, which is the normal one I go to. Let's see if I can flip my camera around that's it there it's called laritino so that's the one i go to ideally so i've just gone there and i've finished so the next stop will be tesco so my daughter just sent me a short list of what to pick up there just for like school stuff so it's not a lot and afterwards straight to lidl to get some pastries that's gonna last me for like breakfast for the next four days no actually i'm working 
three days this week. <laughs> so I'm up because today is public holiday. So I'm working Tuesday, Wednesday, off on Thursday, and back on Friday. So that's three days this week. So public holidays, we don't work. So anyway, guys, I'll pop, I'll definitely be touching base with you once I get back home, so we could talk about all the things that I've got. All right, see you. Right, guys. So that's me. I am back home. Well, I came back home about maybe almost an hour ago. I'm trying to get everything sorted. So, like I said, the other African shop that I said was on that road. That was the first place I went to. So I picked a handful of stuff from there. So if you're interested in this African shop, this is a leaflet. This is the leaflet of the African shop, and it's called Blessed African Supermarket. I will leave the address in my description box and I will also leave the address of the second one that I, the first one that I would normally go to I will leave that the address of that in the description box as well I have not been paid in any way to shout them out in this video I just thought you no know, it's another way of supporting a small black business so I went to the this one first and then I went on to um, the Laritino one just so you know that will just split the shopping between both of them and you know shop what I need from here and shop what I need from here so I'll pop their details into the description box so today all of the items I'm not gonna try and separate what I bought from where or what I brought from where. so I'm just gonna talk about everything so in here I've got um goat meat goat meat so I got this this is 5 kg and normally when I buy um the meat and stuff like this I portion them out into bags into clear bags let me show you guys into clear bags like this that I can easily see in the freezer so I know what I'm bringing out and what I'm not bringing out so the last time I bought goat meat the goat meat I bought was the one with the skin but I don't like the one with the skin it doesn't look fresh to me so I was like no I'm not going to buy that anymore so I decided to go for the plain goat beef so I bought goat meat 5 kg of that and like I said I'm going to pop the prices for them when I'm editing the video so that's 5 kg of goat meat there and then I bought 5 kg of beef as well so this is 5 kg and it's all in here and they've been chopped as medium sizes don't know if you guys can see but there they are they've been chopped as medium size um, goat meat there so that's cow meat or beef whichever we want to call it and then here I've got um, smoked turkey smoked turkey a box of that the bag ripped already a box of that as well so and it's been chopped medium size I love them um, smoked turkey as well so that's what it looks like there so a box of that as well let me grab it to use clean my hands so there and then I bought some bread African bread I bought that as well I'll put the price somewhere for you and then I bought this alum because I cook BM snails and then i cook um like catfish as well so i'll use this alum for it so i bought this alum as well i bought some sharky 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 bought two of those and i bought a bottle of peanut or granite the way we call it as nigeria granite <laughs> i bought one of that and then i bought this um jumbo um all purple seasoning i've got about half a tub left so i decided to buy another one just as a backup so i bought that as well Maggie no cubes if you are coming from nigeria those of you that are jack man, please bring all these things for us eh we are begging we are not doing shakara bring them for us so i picked two of the no cubes up and then i also picked up the noodles that i know my kids enjoy so this is a chicken one and I picked up two boxes, the other box is in the corner there, so I picked up two boxes like I was saying, a quick story, so that one that we bought from Costco yesterday there's so many sauces that go into it, they did not like it <laughs> I saw my daughter almost emptying half of what she was meant to eat into the bin I'm like, did you not like it? She was like, eh, mom, no, there's this sauce that you shouldn't have put in it so they're probably gonna cook the remaining one without adding the sauce, we will just do our own, you know you know so they could eat it anyway so they did not like that stir fry one so for the fact that my, my kids will eat anything but the fact that they did not like so please if you see that stir fry one in costco don't buy it just go for this normal one that we know so i bought um two of these as well and i also bought one liter of palm oil this is the first time i'm trying this brand olu olu so i hope it's a good one so i bought that and then i brought this plantain flower i've never tried this plantain flower before so this is my first time i'm buying it so this is my first time i'm buying this one so plantain flower and then i got this 
yellow ogi i have the white one i've tried the white one before and it's really really good so i love ogi like anytime i make my mind or i make akara i love it with ogi so yeah this is the yellow ogi i can't wait to try this and then i bought some nigerian pomo there there it is then i bought some scotch bonnet pepper atarudo i asked her how much was the box 35 pounds i said eh let me just buy the one that I need. Every time I run out, I'll go and buy more. So this is a um, Matarudo Scotch bonnet. So that's out of the way. Then I picked up this um, crushed red pepper because I love the taste and the feel of this when I make um, a forero. So I bought that as well. And then I picked up some plantain. I picked up some that are not ripe and some that are almost ripe just because I want to do some bolly some bolly and then I might fry some as well so I picked up a handful because I'm gonna be the only one to eat this plantain at the end of the day because the others they don't eat it so I only picked up an, an, a few there we go and then I picked up Gari Ijebu this is 5 kg of Gari Ijebu and I've always bought it from the other African shop the one that I go to all the time so I picked this up from there there we go and then I picked up one kg of blended egusi. I don't like this blended egusi. If I knew it was like this, I wouldn't have buy it. So I don't like this. But yeah, I picked up one egusi blended blended watermelon. No, blended egusi. <laughs> one kg. That's it. And then I picked up um, three dairy cars. So normally I bought I bought the bigger one. So I don't like the fact that I'm decanting it and putting it into the freezer. So that was why I did so because it was too big and I only need a little bit. So I decanted it out of the big can and then put it in the freezer. So I've decided to go for um, medium sizes of this. So uh, this is not Derica actually. It's another brand. I hope it's as good as Derica. So for all of our jollof fries, Umiobe. So I picked up three of that. And then I picked up honey beans. Honey beans, and um, because we go well, for me, I don't eat a lot of beans, but my husband loves beans a lot. So, this is um, honey beans. Look at how neat it is. So, I picked up um, 10 kg of it because I thought that 5 kg is just too small with the way my family eat beans. So, I picked up 5 kg, I mean, 10 kg of the honey beans. So, yeah, and the other bag too was. Ooh, ooh, it was popped in there so i picked those up and i also picked up a bag of um oh i forgot something i was gonna buy catfish i mean i was gonna buy tilapia fish so maybe later on so i picked up some um catfish this is three in a pack i just like for like pepper soup or oatmeal beer times so three in a pack for this so there we go there we go and then the last but not the least is the second box of the um noodles that i bought from the african shop so that's all of the items i picked up there and then the grand total the grand total of everything here i hope you can see the grand total so that's everything i bought there you guys can see there we go don't mind my pot of soup i cooked that yesterday so that's everything that I bought there. So the grand total for the month of May. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> da -da 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 so grand total is £260.85. So all of the food shop that I got, that's you know with all the meat and everything that I showed you guys. I forgot something else that I did not had. I bought um a box of our chicken it's here box of our chicken as well it's in here so i must have missed out missed it out so it's been in two two packs there so yeah box of two chicken there so that's all i got ooh, ooh, ooh. so everything mm -hmm. so
so grand total of everything that I bought by this time my bank account is shaking like that my bank card is shaking so grand total of everything I've got here is 260 pounds 85 pence so that is my um, African food shop for the month of May so believe me this will last us till the end of May because I've still got like two packs of beef from my April food shop I've still got two packs of that in fact that was why I used to cook this pot of soup that is in here <laughs> my pot of soup <laughs> so that was why I used to cook this um, chicken and turkey um, sauce here so yeah so anyways that's all of um, I purchased for the month of May from African store so like I said the African shop that I both of the African shop that I use in the West End I'll pop the address below and I'll maybe pop the the picture of the front of their store in either of these frames so you know where you're going and also I mean I don't know what how much this equates to in Naira but by the time I'm editing this video if I find out based on the exchange rate for today I'll pop how much that is in Naira and also if you're a family of seven <laughs> How much roughly do you spend when you go for grocery oh. and African food shop? Let me know in the comment section there. And also, if you no, know, let's discuss what's how are you coping with this um, cost of living and everything increasing. So, how are you coping in terms of food and you no know, shopping wise? So, yeah, anyway, this is the end of my video. I hope this video makes sense and I hope the prices are all right. Or, yeah, I know we can never be like Peckham or Boston Market, but. At least all these shops, they are doing us great things by bringing all these shops closer to us. So, anyway, enough rambling. That's the end of my video. I hope you have liked this video. If you have watched up till now and you have not yet subscribed yet, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Subscribe to my channel. Turn on the post notification. Comment. And also share this video as well. And last but not the least, don't forget to join my membership as well. And let's just be rubbing shoulders together, alright? And I hope to see you all in my next one. Have a fabulous week ahead. Bye.